You better learn how to walk away and cut a chick off because if you don't, you're going to be the fool. You're going to be the one that's left the dried up husk because when she's done what you believe, she'll walk away. But here's the thing. Guys, when you learn to walk away from a woman, you're in a position of power. I'm going to walk away from love before love breaks my heart. What the motherfucker got to go through. Hard worker, man. This is what I got. This is this 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 is what I got to deal through with with somebody like this, mm -hmm. somebody that's disrespectful. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? This is the type of shit you got to deal with, man. When a motherfucker work hard every motherfucking day. I work hard every day. I go to every work motherfucking every day. day. I pay my own every motherfucking I pay this day. Fucking car, no. Right? I'm the every one motherfucking day. Fucking yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, oh, you can do yeah, that. You can yeah, do yeah. that. What you mad about, yeah, though? What you mad about though? What you mad about? You what you mad about? You this is what I gotta do with. Money. So anybody, anybody that see this, yeah, this know this little like witness. That come run up on me. That's yeah. right look, look, look at her ugly right ass. Right the mm -hmm. ugly ass mm -hmm. is a bitch. Yeah, I'm, fat. I'm doing all yeah. this. I'm doing all this. And she got yeah, three baby daddies. One of them trying to kill her. Yeah, and I'm saying all this shit. Yeah, all my baby daddies still trying to marry me. How you doing? How you doing? I'm done with you. You already done with. Hey, boy, still, fuck, so you already done trying with. To marry Ain't nobody me. gonna want to fuck with you. Trying to marry Ain't me. Gonna... Lions, what in the name of Father Jesus is going on with this brother here? He's been abused. He's sitting in the car complaining on the social media while he's been whooped, or rather, he was whooped. Obviously, he ain't going anywhere. He's complaining, but guess what? He knew she had three baby daddies, three baby daddies before he got with her and he's still around. He was being whooped before today and he stick around. This is ridiculous. Lions, like I said, you gotta walk away. Sometimes you gotta put that feeling aside and walk away. So both Charlene and I, in the span of a week, invited men over. Both of these men had something to say about our TV being on the floor. So you know what we did? immediately bought a tv set mm. period then we got another man to come over and put together the tv stand because he's a real man that built shit and mm. minds his business he brought his own toolbox didn't ask for nothing got a glass of water yeah so let me get this straight because this picture seems a little crooked okay Two men came to your home disrespected it and got the chance to mm -hmm. split y'all like wood at a farmhouse. And you have this respectful <clears throat> man comes and fix your home up and all he gets is a glass of water. And he's the winner? <laughs> Since when did two plus two equal six? <laughs> <laughs> Very. Those first two men that came to that apartment, they were like what Beanie Man would say. Now, the other guy who came to the apartment to fix it up, he was a good guy. He probably liked one of those ladies and he was willing to do all this free work for them for nothing. Fellas, don't do that. The good guys, you will come last. While the bad guys, they get all the cookies and you will be called a simp. So walk away, fellas, walk away. You ain't got to like me. I ain't gonna f***ing think you should not like the baby daddy. And I, you don't, I don't like none of y'all. I don't like you, his mammy, his sister, none of y'all. His kids, I don't like y'all. You're gonna get mad at me because you the son of a You a son of a Who the f*** get pregnant from a son of a You mad at me. You mad at me because you how many kids you got? Who? How many kids you got? How many kids I got? How many kids you got? According to the state, none. How many kids Not even my, 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 my womb has reset itself. It has reset itself. So my, my, my womb okay. is four at kids. zero. It's 2021. Kids. I ain't got no. Stop that. You have four kids. So that means three different daughter. Okay. So. Technically, your daddy ain't. How you, if you knew how small your daddy was, if you knew how small your 
that it was. He ain't let that shit on my lip and it swim to the top. Not the I ain't gonna be with your daddy. Huh? Your daddy ain't got no goddamn. Your daddy ain't got. Come on, your daddy. Your daddy ain't. Your, 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 your daddy. No lines. If you ever find yourself dating a lady like this and you happen to meet her mother or her father and they're behaving this way with each other, you need to step up, get up, and run. You don't want to be a part of this nonsense because you see her mother's behavior, 99% chance the daughter will behave the same exact way. You hear her mother talking about she already has a baby daddy? You don't want to be a part of that stuff, okay? You don't want to be a part of that stuff. You need to pack up your things and walk away because this is pure disrespect going on between a mother and her daughter. And the daughter has been raised that way and she will only do the same exact thing her mother is doing. Forget this love thing you feel inside. Walk away. My son is not coming home today. At this point, I don't even know if I want him to ever come home. I really hate his dad, and it makes it so hard for me to like and care for him the way a mother should. I hate co-parenting with him because he won't let go of the past. We've been broken up for 10 years now, and honestly, being with him is one of my biggest life regrets. But how do you look your own kid in their face, knowing that it's impossible for you to fully love them the way a mother should because you hate their dad? The disagreement was so stupid and simple, but it resulted in my son showing up to school four hours late. Usually I would remove him from that situation, but this time instead of taking him away, I'm making him stay. Lions, this is what happens when you go around town spreading your seeds everywhere. That child will be treated like crap for his entire life or rather, as long as he's around his mother, a mother like this, he'll be treated like crap for something he had nothing to do with. It's not his fault she got with a good for nothing man according to her. But he's gonna suffer. That child is gonna be affected mentally and he's gonna take it out. When he grows old, he's gonna do the same thing or something bad to other females all because of what his mother did to him. So men, your child's future is in danger when you fail to wrap it up. Okay? Wrap it up, seeing? Here's the funny thing about women, right? They'll go to a job, they'll clock in, they'll clock out, they'll submit to their boss, they'll do as he says, they'll, they'll, they'll be feminine, they'll be respectful, they'll dress up really nice for the interview. They, they won't argue with him, they won't be combative, nothing. But when it comes to their man, the man that truly cares for them, the man that will kill and die for them, they're they're argumentative, they're picking fights, they're making him angry, they're, they're questioning his decisions, they're disrespecting him. Like, why do women not understand this? It's a very simple concept. Why would you rather submit to your boss that doesn't care about you to for a job? that is just there to pay your bills versus a man that's trying to provide for you, trying to put you in a great position. He truly will die for you and you're over here making his life hard. Can someone explain this logic to me? Lions, you know what we are about on this channel. If you can't get the same respect her boss gets at work from your lady, you know what you need to do. If you're being constantly being harassed, picking fights with you, being argumentative, disrespecting you, you know what you need to do. And in case you don't, you don't understand what you need to do, I'm going to let Mr. Samuels tell you one last time. You better learn how to walk away and cut a chick off because if you don't, you're going to be the fool. You're going to be the one that's left the dried up husk because when she's done what you believe, she'll walk away. But here's the thing. Guys, when you learn to walk away from a woman, you're in a position of power. Well, tight. We're gone again. <laughs>